tutorial series my name is Azhar Slim in this tutorial we'll discuss about accounting module here is a dashboard which we install third-party uh, module or app so it's not compulsory you have to install this dashboard I just uh, installed to show you how you how to install third-party app or modules so by default auto accounting app uh, dashboard is this one under overview you can see here the vendor bills customer invoices bank cash point of sale and uh, expenses so after dashboard it's a just a uh, overview you can see the information from here our summary under invoices vendors miscellaneous operations point of sale and cash or expenses so first we can see here is a customer under customer invoices invoice we already discuss and generate from our sales module so we can also make invoices from here against a customer when we discussed invoices under our sale I'm going to show you one more time so if uh, we open sales and here I'm going to open say the sale order here you can see the create invoice it's the same in uh, accounting module also under customers but what is the difference the difference is this invoice we are going to create against this sale order but that invoice in under accounting under customer this invoice we are going to make against a customer even we can use uh, also products from here My virtual machine taking some time to load the okay and customer I'm going to invoice here if I create a new invoice so this invoice we can create against a customer or even we can uh, choose a product here means from both sides the same purpose you can say it, something like that so here you have to choose a customer and the invoice date I'm choosing today date 17 and here is a due date or terms uh, this one by default you can set inside your customer if I click here and go to my customer to edit this customer under invoicing sorry under sales and purchase here is the payment terms and uh, payment method for sales sorry sales is here payment terms sales team and each other information is here you can set from here when you set by default is coming due date and uh, payment terms here so let's make here add new line I'm not choosing a product I'm just creating an invoice against this customer and the description I'm typing here testing invoice the price here I'm putting 15,000 and uh, if I go to journal items here it show you which account will be debit and which is credit and 15,750 is a VAT which is calculated here is going to credit in your VAT and here 15,750 uh, ED is a debit in your account receivable and sales account is a credit with 15,000 and our VAT is going to credit in our tax uh, received our tax received account or ledger and other info is an info about invoice accounting and marketing 
now I'm going to save this uh, invoice and now it's going under draft so now let's uh, make it confirm now it will be posted it will go to next stage which is posted so I'm taking some time to load now you can see here it's a post type. So here we can see you have outstanding payments for this customer. If I go down here you can see I have two invoices outstanding uh, credit for against this uh, customer. And here you can see add credit note means if I make a credit note or you can say make a refund against this invoice we can add credit note from here so if I go back to invoices you can see it's a not paid I just create this invoice and if I go to here credit note same thing which we checked previously credit note for refund but what is the difference if I make a credit note from here So very slow my virtual box if I create uh, added credit note here automatically the same information will be pulled in our credit note and I just have to type here on the reason and make it save or uh, reverse it will be a refund but if I go and uh, create a credit note from here I have to create this credit note from beginning I have to enter all the information means again I have to choose the our customer I have to choose the product and then make this credit note or make this refund or um, we can say but um, uh, term we can say like reverse payment you can say so I'm showing you how to make it payment reference if you want to choose you can make it any I'm going to choose date and add line here I will choose label like uh, refund payment and the price I'm going to type here 20,000 so 20,000 let's make it confirm it's taking time to load when i press confirm automatically order will be saved and confirm this refund or credit note or you can set this entry okay we create successfully and we have outstanding payments if i go down and i have one outstanding 15,750 which we create an invoice and I can add this outstanding amount here even in this credit note and uh, I can register payment from here otherwise we can just go to payments same payment we already discuss and see in our um, sales account now I'm going to make a payment now we are in our customers that's why automatically uh, by default RC payment is coming if we go to our payment in under vendors then the default option send money is uh, choose and payment type you can choose here customer or vendor of course here is a customer and we have to choose our testing customer and uh, the account receivable I just and here is a bank so amount I'm typing here the payment uh, say 1000 day to day date and if you want to add some memo and check reference or bank reference you can type here let's make it confirm and save this entry will be paused here 
is positive. Okay, so if I go to payment, you can see I have one posted entry with just now I posted a payment against this customer. If I click here and see this uh, the status of this customer, you can see one opportunity, one meeting which we created before in our CRM and this one in our calendar. We have two sales, zero purchase, invoiced. 5200 and we have our vendor bills in next follow-up reports so just a report for follow-up I'm going to remove this from here and we have all the reports against our customer follow-up in the total how much uh, the due and uh, how much is the overdue and follow-up status In next we have our products and our customer which I already discussed in our sales when you are purchase and uh, last we have a customer here which we already discussed in our sales module and uh, as I told you before it's the same same like uh, you can make uh, contacts or customer vendor and uh, even employee it's a little bit just uh, information is uh, changed or you have to add a little bit uh, you can say some piece of uh, information is changed otherwise the same thing so that's why this uh, video tutorial next video tutorial we discuss about uh, vendors